I'll see if the doctor's available, ma'am. Oh, oh, one moment, please. Hi, Quinlan. No word on your squeeze. Burton's keeping all the paperwork to herself for some reason. The Falcon, did he show up? Yep. As a matter of fact, they should start fighting <laughs> right about now. They don't usually take this long. I just wish they'd do it and get it over with. Hey, how come you never came back to see me on my break? I'm here to see my girlfriend, Viv. She's in a coma, remember? What do you know? A guy who's faithful. Mm-hmm. Go on, run off and see your girlfriend. See if I care. Call me if she croaks. I heard that. I said no, Joey. I've heard that before. No, Joey, no, Joey, no. I don't want you here. I don't want you in this hospital. You gotta let me do my thing. I can find out what happened to this babe. Besides, you always call me in on these. If you don't this time, it's gonna look bad. No kidding. Do you think it's an accident that Magnata brought her here? Fuck Magnata! Should've clipped his wings years ago. He's gonna try to pin this whole fucking thing on me. Or me. Which is why we do it my way, and I say no. No what? Yo, Quinlan! Tell Dr. Burton here to let me save your friend. What's Falconetti talking about? It doesn't matter. I'm not letting him do the procedure. How long have you all known each other? <laughs> Look, Quinlan, it's personal. It has nothing to do with Pal's case, believe me. Hmm. What thing are you talking about, Eddie? Decking into this chick's consciousness. I can access her brain just like I can a computer. Well, what good is that? She's in a coma. She's not brain dead. Her essence, her personality, whatever. It's all still in there. I mean, if I could just get at it, there's a chance I could even rebuild her memory. It's not that simple. For one thing, you don't know for a fact how much of her essence she's retained. For another, you have psychological ice to deal with. You'd be fighting her mind. The strain could kill her. You knew Magnata years ago. He was a very different man then. He used to be a scumbag. Now, he's a scumbag with a badge. Why would he try to pin the murders on you? He's gotta pin it on somebody to make a buck. I guess he thinks I'm an easy target. <laughs> Is your method dangerous? Are you kidding? 
Of course it's dangerous. We're not talking about accounting databases here. Decking into an organism's a lot harder than linking into a machine. You can't be overriding shit. You gotta watch where you're digging around. Emotions, memories, potentially very damaging. It's worth the risk, though. So how do you figure? I can rebuild her memory. I can make that image so real, you'll think it's breathing. You'll be able to stare the killer right in the eye. Well, that would save Catherine and anybody else the Ripper had on his list. I mean, what's the real reason for preventing Falconetti from doing this, Burton? Do I detect a little magnata in the reporter's line of questioning? <laughs> Do any damn thing you want. I'm going to the gym. Good! Then look a little flanky there, Claire. Tighten up those bonds, baby! You ready? What do you mean? We're gonna deck to Catherine's brain now? Damn straight. You can really get to know your girlfriend now. Here's the deal. The both of us being in there, it's gonna take everything I've got to maintain a link between us, to isolate a pathway to whatever's left of her consciousness. If her brain starts throwing ice at us, you're gonna have to fight it. Think you can handle that? I think I can. she gets from you and Burton, the more she'll remember, the more she'll be able to tell us. She looks so real. That's because everything you're seeing right now is streaming directly from her brain, unmediated by any software. That's her, as her own mind's eye can see herself. Be prepared. When you get close to her, you're gonna change. You'll look just as real. Mm. 
bad for a first timer. Was it good for you too? <laughs> you kicked ass in there. No shit, Sherlock. Now if you'll excuse me, I got about a month of girly mags to catch up on. Excuse me. Hey! What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. This place is off limits to unauthorized personnel. I'm Jay Quinlan from the Virtual Herald. Uh, who are you? I'm Bob Epples, the new pathologist, and I'm, I'm, not to, I, I, I'm not to speak with you, Mr. Quinlan. Well, what are you talking about? Wh where is Farley? Mr. Farley is no longer employed here. He, he, he was let go. He was fired? Where is Farley? I have no idea where Mr. Farley is. But from what I've heard about him, I suggest you look for him in a restaurant. One that specializes in fatty cuisine. <laughs> do to do, do. Why was Farley fired? I, I, I didn't ask, but I got the feeling that Mr. Farley liked to talk a little too much. And I don't plan on making the same mistake, so p please leave Mr. Quinlan before someone sees me talking with you. My boss finds out you're back, I'll be fired now. Get out! What do you got? A cotton in the back there, Quinlan? Here's my stuff. I'm going into interrogation, Brandon. You know, a little police work. How's the coffee, Sarge? Mm, nice and hot. Guys got balls so big they collect the gum on the floor. They do, they drag. Soho Precinct, Sergeant Brandon speaking. What's your problem? Check off, I'm talking to you. Right. Don't call him anymore. Any new developments, Lou? Sure, but uh, nothing's getting us closer to the Ripper. Like what? Like earlier today, Magnata pulled two cops who have been on the Ripper case since the beginning, replaced them with new guys. Now that's bound to set the investigation back. That doesn't make any sense. That's what I say. I know. Tell me about it.
What's the buzz in the precinct on Falcon Eddie? Word is that outlaws mixed up in this somehow. Magnata's pulled the hard copies on all of Falcon Eddie's records, and he's had passwords put on computer files. There must be something there he's looking for. Or maybe something he's trying to hide. Lou, what do you know about the Hamilton Wofford murder? I haven't followed the case. I don't know much about the guy except that he did some work for the precinct some years ago. What kind of work? Magnata hired him, I don't know, five, six years back to build a virtual target range for the cadet cyberspace training. So Magnata knew him? Yeah, that's probably why he took the case on, even though he's got his hands full with the Ripper. I'm not a fucking dealer, man. Those were legal dosages for my personal use. I'm holding down like four jobs at once, man. I need the fucking mental clarity, okay? See how much clarity you have when I'm done with you. Those senior citizens you sold that lucid drill B to had severe arterial hypertension. Five of them popped blood vessels in their heads. Now talk, fuckhead. I sold those fossils some lucid B, not my fault they had blowouts. I mean, what are you making a big deal out of this for? It's not like they weren't ready for the big sleep. It's touching to see you feel so deeply. They say underneath the skin of every junkie runs the blood of a poet. I wouldn't know. I'm just a cop who loves his job. No performance now, mother. I'm in rehearsal. Files are locked. Looks like I need some kind of ID card to open them. Hmm. Vince McNaughton's personnel file. Could make for interesting reading.
Kathy never was any good with numbers.
pretty clever. A neat little place to store surveillance bugs. 